como saben, todas estas presentaciones están siendo grabadas. Eh, próximamente las podrán tener, tener acceso a ellas. Y de la misma manera están siendo eh, compartidas vía YouTube Live. Entonces, ¿por qué no comenzamos para darle todo el tiempo a David de la Garza de ASTM International? David es el director de Latinoamérica. Como saben, pueden utilizar la opción de interpretación a portugués o, o a español. Yo ahorita le, le dejo, le cedo la palabra a David y le doy una bienvenida y le doy las gracias por compartir con nosotros esta presentación. Bienvenido, David. Welcome. Thank you. Ya sea que vaya a una oficina, a un laboratorio o a su lugar de trabajo todos los días, verá cómo los estándares técnicos respaldan la calidad, la seguridad, la innovación y el comercio. A medida que su organización crece y las industrias evolucionan, los estándares le deben seguir el ritmo. ASTM International está abierto a cualquier persona que quiera ayudar a crear o actualizar estándares. Todas las opiniones son escuchadas en nuestros comités, donde los expertos más respetados del mundo desarrollan los estándares más respetados del mundo. La plataforma Compass proporciona acceso constante a los últimos estándares en docenas de industrias, con herramientas para ayudar a su equipo a colaborar y tomar decisiones informadas. También estamos aquí para prepararlo para la acreditación o certificar sus productos. La capacitación y el aprendizaje en línea muestran los métodos de prueba en acción, proporcionando las habilidades y la confianza para realizar las pruebas correctamente. Cuando su industria o nación necesita un líder en todas estas áreas, podemos ser su socio. Para los estándares y todas las necesidades que lo rodean, conectamos los puntos en su lugar de trabajo, en su carrera y en su vida diaria. Juntos estamos cooperando para que nuestro mundo funcione mejor. Good morning and thank you for joining us here on day two of the 2021 ITMS Latin America Virtual Conference. My name is David De La Garza and I'm director of Latin America here at ASTM. For those of you who are new to the world of ASTM, welcome. For those of you who are familiar with ASTM, welcome back. We have a lot to talk about today, so let's get started. We all experienced a very difficult year in 2020, but that did not stop ASTM from completing its mission objectives. And that's proven by the fact that our technical committees published 175 new standards in 2020 alone bringing the total number of standards available from ASTM up to 12,900. Our, particip our membership participation is up to an astounding 39,000 experts from around the globe coming from over 140 countries. What distinguishes ASTM standards is that the development process is ensured to have a fair and balanced voting process. Simply stated, at ASTM International, all members have an equal vote and an equal voice in the development of technical standards. Fairness is further ensured through balanced participation among product manufacturers, university researchers, government agencies, safety advocates, users, and general interest members of an ASTM technical committee. Openness, transparency, and a balanced consensus process are the hallmark, all our hallmarks of an ASTM system and have contributed to the quality, integrity, and worldwide acceptance of ASTM standards for over 120 years. ASTM standards are widely used because of the open process in which they are developed and approved. Working side by side with other stakeholders, 
ASTM members debate technical issues and share their expertise to develop standards that address the needs of many audiences. ASTM technical committees cover a wide range of subject areas from consumer products, petroleum, plastics, concrete, environmental assessment, and many other topics. In addition to the ongoing work in these well-established industry sectors, ASTM is also engaged in state-of-the-art technology areas through committees on nanotechnology and 3D printing or additive manufacturing. The committees meet twice a year to help make sure that the standards keep up with the rapidly changing world around us. At this moment, meetings are being held virtually. So I encourage you to please go to ASTM's website for technical committees to learn more. University students are encouraged to join the ASTM technical committees at any time. The committees provide a way for students to gain an edge in expanding their network of contacts from meeting the experts who invent the scientific theories to other members who are business leaders in their fields. Student members can attend ASTM symposia for free to learn about the latest research on a given topic. Student members can earn recognition through research paper competitions and open doors to getting their research published in ASTM's digital library. ASTM also offers grants for student projects involving ASTM standards. Please go to ASTM's member website at ASTM.org slash membership for more information on how to enroll. I would also like to invite anyone who is interested to please apply for ASTM's Emerging Professionals Program to help boost your understanding and involvement with the world of ASTM. An emerging professional is someone that's been identified by their industry peers as having the potential to be a future leader. Someone very young in their career, but yet they recognize the importance that ASTM and ASTM standards have or impact on their industries. Someone who is eager to learn about ASTM, about the process, and is someone who wants to be engaged because they recognize how they can make contributions to uh, ASTM standards development. Someone who has started in a career path and is hoping to continue along that path. I was approached um, by my mentor who's actually retiring and uh, he's like, you know, I really think that uh, you could benefit from this Emerging Professionals program and he was right. We're relying on our technical committee leaders to identify members that are, again, young in their career that they view as promising. ASTM selects six candidates out of all of the nominees to come to a committee week where we host a one-day workshop and as part of that workshop we have ASTM staff that reviews the consensus process and the committee operations to give them a really in-depth understanding of ASTM. We learned a lot about the technical aspects of writing um, or developing an ASTM standard. It was also interesting to uh, think about leadership in the standard development process. You have the world's greatest experts in the room, in their field, and yet they are so approachable. And to have those connections and to be able to reach out with them with questions, you just can't match that. You get a sense for the people, the real people that are involved in ASTM. The biggest takeaway is just that they're not in this alone. Their voice matters, and that all of these great experts who have been around for many, many years they started out like you're starting out now. By attending the Emerging Professionals workshop meetings and the training that I got there, I feel like you get multiple people on a problem and you bring to light all the different challenges and that makes the standard better. It cleared up a lot of insecurities and unknowns that I had. And so I really think they take away all of these different tools. It's given me the confidence to understand how the process works and to understand what's expected of me. We do follow up with the emerging professionals after the workshops. We are in contact through email and then also LinkedIn. And we have found that we've already built personal relationships. We're seeing a lot of them come back and now they're paying their own way 
to attend the ASTM meetings, and we're starting to see some of them make positive contributions. We can step in and participate and, and really start to have an impact and grow. They have to walk away from that first experience and say, I want to come back. And that's really the impression that we want to leave with them. We want them to say to themselves, I can't wait for the next ASTM meeting. Now, after the standards have been created and published, users of ASTM standards need a tool that allows them access to standards in an efficient format to do their work. ASTM provides that tool in a state-of-the-art platform in ASTM Compass, where users can access ASTM standards in HTML or PDF format. Several years ago, users came to ASTM to tell us that they no longer used standards as a document to read at the workbench. Their usage of standards was evolving from a document read to a concept of standards as data. Laboratories across the world were implementing LIM systems or laboratory information management systems. And these systems needed access to the calculations and precision data in ASTM standards. So we created ASTM Compass in 2010 and have continually approved upon it based on user feedback. Let's take a look. ASTM Compass está cambiando el modo en el que usted investiga, redacta y usa las normas. Este recurso cuenta con miles de documentos y poderosas herramientas de flujo de trabajo que orientarán el crecimiento de su organización. Acceda a más de 13,000 normas, libros y revistas ASTM en cualquier momento, en cualquier lugar. Busque en cualquiera de los 14 idiomas que usted hable. Nuestro singular sistema de gestión de cambios le permite a usted mitigar los riesgos al comparar versiones de las normas. Genere alertas sobre las normas que usted necesita ver. Reciba avisos de inmediato luego de que las normas sean revisadas y agregue notas personalizadas. Al insertar hipervínculos hacia normas ASTM dentro de sus documentos, usted podrá crear procedimientos internos para reflejar las normas de su equipo y las nuestras. Con unos cuantos clics, su documento puede compartirse con sus empleados, proveedores, contratistas y partes interesadas. Su inversión apoya el crecimiento de su equipo, en tanto que también le mantiene a usted al frente del progreso de la industria. Trabaje de forma inteligente. Manténgase al tanto. Encuente orientación. Deje que Compass sea su guía. That preview showed a quick demonstration of the advanced tools only available on ASTM Compass. The version comparison tool saves so much work at the click of a button. Now, ASTM understands that users around the world sometimes need access to our standards in their native languages. For Latin America, we have created translated collections in both Spanish and Brazilian Portuguese to ensure our standards reach a wider non-English speaking audience. Universities and businesses throughout Latin America can now add these translations to their ASTM Compass subscriptions. The petroleum collections were started back in 2017. We made sure to include the important standards referenced in laws around the world. Sulfur, oxygenates, octanes, and cetane for motor gasoline and diesel. RVP, metals, water and sediment for petroleum crude oil, Jeftot, and freezing point for jet fuel, and many more. We have a construction collection for cement and concrete products, critical standards used to build our roads and offices, flowing concrete, Portland cement, water soluble chlorides, and bulk density. In the world of metals, We started with those critical to the manufacturing sector, including steel and welded wire used in concrete reinforcement, methods for the mechanical testing of steel products, and specifications for epoxy coated steel. Polymers surround us in everyday life from the different grades of plastics to the rubber used in tires or O-rings. Therefore, this year we are creating the Translated Polymers Collection 
for those important industries. And being prepared for 2022 is the textiles collection, where we, we will ensure the standards critical to the clothing manufacturers are available, including tearing strength of fabrics, twists, linear density, and air permeability. We are proud of the progress we are making. We, are, we aren't stopping with these collections. Every year, we translate additional standards to augment each industry collection and to make sure we provide access to the standards you need in your language. New translation collections will be created in the future, and I would be happy to hear your feedback on what you think we should translate next. ASDM offers standards for a huge range of products that impact all of our lives each and every day. But there are standardization bodies whose mission is to focus on a certain industry sector. And ASDM has entered in str into strategic partnerships that allow the ASDM Compass platform to host standards from those key partners. AASHTO, or the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials, publishes specifications, test protocols, and guidelines that are used in highway design and construction throughout the United States. Their environment and sustainability standards are used to develop environmentally friendly transportation infrastructure. Their engineering standards help governments and companies design and build bridges and tunnels. And their pavement standards help governments choose which asphalt or concrete mixtures should be used in specific climates. AASHTO has an amazing collection of internationally recognized standards that governments all over the world use to build their infrastructure. AATCC, or the American Association of Textile Chemists and Colorists, publishes test methods for fiber analysis, color fastness, and other textile elements. They have methods for the quantitative assessment of thermal regulation, UV light protection, and antimicrobial activity. They have methods to test and measure the electrostatic behavior of clothing and even methods to evaluate dyes and laundry detergent. AATCC standards help manufacturers develop longer lasting clothing and textiles. API, or the American Petroleum Institute, publishes up-to-date safety critical standards for everything related to the petroleum industry. They have mission critical standards that refineries need to keep their plants operational. They have detailed procedures how to safely and accurately measure how much crude oil is in a cargo ship or how much diesel is in a storage tank. They have guides and procedures for the exploration or upstream side of the petroleum business for those universities that need to prepare their petroleum engineers to work out in the field. API standards are critical to working safely in the petroleum world. AWS, or the American Welding Society, creates standards for welding and cutting processes for the aerospace and automotive industries, for marine vessels and pipelines, standards for structural welding and inspection of for robotics and railroads, they have important standards related to metals used in consumer products and food processing systems. Engineering departments at every university should absolutely have access to these important standards. AWWA, or the American Water Works Association, are the ones responsible for creating the guidelines and standards for our water plants and systems. They have standards for disinfecting water procedures and measuring municipal water quality. They have standards for water meters and the pumps and pipes used by cities to get clean, fresh water to our houses and buildings. All the lessons how to keep our water supply safe and clean are right there, waiting for the next generation to study and learn from them. CGA, or the Compressed Gas Association, is the leading worldwide authority on the technical safety, the technical and safety standards required for industrial, medical, and food grade gases. Standards for acetylene, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, 
and LPG or liquefied petroleum gas. CGA standards help make sure the carbon dioxide cylinder used to make your soda is free of contaminants. These standards are used to make sure everyone across the world uses the same valves, inlets, and connections for gas cylinders. Gases are dangerous products and CGA standards help make sure we work with them safely, no matter where in the world we are. UOP, or Universal Oil Products, are a set of valuable standards to help petroleum refineries analyze feedstocks and the different process streams. UOP is considered an industry standard in its own right, and they perfectly supplement ASTM, API, and European standards. Speaking of European standards, ASTM is proud to say that we can now offer access to European standards via our partnership with UNE from Spain. Every single standard adopted by the European Union with the EN, ISO, IEC, CEN, or CELIC titles are now available on ASTM Compass. For our friends in Spanish-speaking countries, every single one of these standards is available in Spanish, as well as English. At ASTM, we are excited to be working with all of these amazing publishing partners, and we are interested in expanding our list of partners in the future, where it makes sense. Please reach out to our friends at IATMS and let them know your, the standards content you are interested in. ITMS and ASTM want to make sure you have access to all of the standards you need to succeed. Before we move on, this is the Compass homepage view that we are all accustomed to seeing right now, as this has been the face of Compass for a decade. Well, ASTM is happy to announce that this July, we will be unveiling ASTM Compass 2.0. Compass 2.0 is the same functionality with the same advanced tools now designed with modern computer application architecture. As we all know, the world of computers and apps moves lightning fast. And we at ASTM decided we needed to make sure Compass made use of all the advancements to computer coding and software that have been made available by technology companies these last few years. The platform has been, been rewritten from the ground up, making use of efficient APIs on modules. It's better able to scale down to your mobile phone or tablet. And it's hosted on redundant web servers to maximize uptime and productivity. For university librarians attending this conference, ASTM is pleased to announce that the Compass 2.0 update will also allow us to upgrade and improve our discovery services. So the tools you librarians are accustomed to using, like Sushi, EDS, Google Scholar, TDNet, Counter, Mark and KBART records, and many more, are all being integrated into Compass 2.0 in a much better way. For those of you who are now on the Compass platform, ASTM and ITMS will be reaching out to you in the next few months to ensure everything is set up and ready to go so that you don't miss a beat. While Compass 2.0 is the next big leap, it won't be the end for Compass improvements. If any of you in attendance have an idea on how ASTM could add a tool or feature to make your work more productive, please reach out to me and let me know. It's people like you and your ideas that allow ASTM a chance to improve the world of standards for everyone. Now we are going to turn the page and focus on testing laboratories. There are testing laboratories inside chemistry departments at universities or research labs for graduate students. There are private testing labs out there in every country in the world. All of those labs need to comply with accreditation requirements or a way to prove that their analysis is accurate. This is made easy with ASTM's trusted PTP or proficiency testing programs. ASTM's PTP are respected around the world. They're cost-effective, and they're very thorough. 
our programs are accredited for ISO 17043 or the conformity assessment for general requirements for proficiency testing. Our programs can help university laboratories assess their performance using not only our ASTM test methods, but also ISO, EN, BSI, and IEC standards as well. In fact, at this very moment, we are setting the groundwork to include Brazil's NBRs in ASTM's ethanol and biodiesel programs. Along with standards, these programs help determine the precision and accuracy of instruments in the laboratory and help improve quality. As of today, ASTM offers over 50 programs across a wide range of products. These programs have multiple cycles throughout the year in order to allow laboratories the opportunities to test samples, send the results, receive the reports, and most importantly, quickly fix or recalibrate their instruments. Let's take a closer look. The PTP program is an underutilized gem. It's an easy way to check whether your technicians and whether your chemists are really following the method. It's not a grade. It's not a test score. It's a tool for them to use to their advantage. It makes it a lot easier for the labs to see where they are and see where improvements are needed. The wide variety of samples that are offered, the wide variety of programs that are offered, as well as the in-depth statistical analysis. That's information that the entire subcommittee membership would find useful. I like the proficiency testing program for the more subjective tests. They give you the results quickly in formats that are easily converted to the commercially available data systems. Everything is totally automated, including color graphics. We're able to now display that we are performing these methods correctly. Knowing that you have a laboratory that can be judged against its competition, against other people in the marketplace, that in and of itself is huge. Participating in the cross-check program is a strong base for our quality system as a whole. University laboratories are encouraged to find out more information on our website at www.astm.org slash PTP. As first-time participants, sometimes need help understanding how the programs operate or how to manage the international shipping of their samples. I am happy to help answer those questions. If a university laboratory looks through our website, only to find that we do not offer a program that they need, we can fix that. Every year we offer new programs after someone reaches out and asks us if we can do it. So please feel free to send me an email so we can talk through whatever help you might need to get started with ASTM PTP. This year, we are also proud to announce that the newest version of ASTM Cheetah version 11.0 is now available to universities in Latin America. Cheetah is a unique program used in chemistry and engineering departments to predict both thermal chemical properties and reactive chemical hazards associated with either pure chemicals, chemical mixtures, or chemical reaction. Version 11.0 comes with a new easy to use interface and includes the NASA Lewis equilibrium calculations for the first time. Chemistry, physics, and engineering professors and students were going to use this new cheetah to make new reactions and discoveries. This program is a little bit different than ASTM's other standard services, so we are not able to integrate it into ASTM Compass, but we think university chemistry, physics, and engineering departments are going to love all of the capabilities and features available to them. We are excited to get this into their hands. So please reach out to our friends at ITMS and ask them to schedule a demonstration. Introducing version 11 of the ASTM computer program for chemical, thermodynamic, and energy release evaluation, CHEETAH. 
ASTM International software for assessing potential reactive and flammable hazards. This version includes the ability to save sessions for a smooth transition to the latest version. CHEETA is a valuable tool for chemical engineers, chemists, university professors, safety engineers, and those involved in fire and explosion prevention. Rigorous assessments test the reactivity level of dangerous substances. CHEETA assists with careful evaluation of hazards, keeping laboratories and personnel safe from risky situations and accidents. In version 11, the inclusion of the NASA Lewis program into the CHEETA functionality creates a user-friendly environment with a much simpler interface, and users can calculate chemical equilibriums. Over 1,700 chemicals are included in the CHEETA database, making it a robust and comprehensive tool. For other chemicals not in the database, users can still make calculations by use of the Benson Group Contribution Method. And CHEETA comes with direct support from its software developers tutorials, a demo feature, and over 200 references to papers on the significance of the program for further research. Get this dynamic and comprehensive program today. Thank you for your time this morning. I am proud to share with all of you the improvements ASTM has made for all of our friends in Brazil and Spanish-speaking Latin America. At ASTM, we are continually interested in learning how we can provide better services to all of you. So please, feel free to send me an email at ddelagarza at astm.org, and I will do my best to help you. As soon as the world goes back to normal, I look, to, I look forward to visiting all of you. Thank you again, and have a great day. David, thank you very much for your presentation and for, for the videos. Um, let's open up the space for some questions. Vamos a, a abrir el espacio para algunas preguntas. Um, tenemos una pregunta de Dorky. Con una suscripción tengo derecho a todas las normas de ASTM o se adquieren de manera individual. You want to take this one, David, or shall we? ASTM Compass allows um, users to select uh, either to access all of ASTM standards or sections of ASTM standards that are important to their industry sector or certain volumes from certain sections. Uh, we do not have the ability to offer individual standards as there are over 12,900 and uh, that's not possible at this time. Thank you, David. Um, Dorky, efectivamente, usualmente para una institución académica existen, aunque sea dos tipos de suscripciones de normas diferentes. Una, eh, un poco eh, introductoria, si, pues, si se pudiese decir, y la segunda es una suscripción completa de todo el contenido que ofrece ASTM vía la plataforma Compass. We have another question from Angel Bravo. Hay grupos de normas específicas para la agricultura. Por ejemplo, agriculture engineering. There are standards that apply to that industry. Um, unfortunately, I am not an expert at all 12,900 standards. So I would have to go back and study the different sections to figure out which ones apply. Ángel, una de las mejores maneras para conocer el contenido de Compass, de ASTM vía Compass, es estrictamente eh, uno dirigiéndose a, a, al portal y haciendo una búsqueda. Eh, la plataforma de Compass fue desarrollada eh, internamente por ASTM y tiene una muy buena capacidad de, de descubrimiento. At the end. Uh, we have another question. Si no encuentro una norma, la puedo solicitar para ser incluida. Um, Sandra, um, a ver, 
a ASTM tiene la capacidad de ofrecer todas las normas a ASTM. Eh, ¿Qué otro? Y, y, y también los otros eh, SDOs, Standard Development Organizations, que presentó David. Si están incluidas o si esas normas son partes de esos SDOs, se pueden incluir a la, a la suscripción. Si no encuentro el nombre. Eh, Sandra, creo es, es posiblemente que no, no entienda la pregunta completamente. ¿Qué otra, qué otra norma? Eh, ¿Qué tipo de otra norma o una norma de, de otro SDO? Esa es la pregunta. Por, por medio del booth virtual de ASTM, uno puede también visualizar el contenido que ofrece, eh, que se puede acceder vía Compass también. Yo creo que quizás eso es una mejor respuesta a, a tu pregunta. Efectivamente, Lidia, próximamente vamos a estar enviando información sobre eh, Compass 2.0. Ok, Sonia. Sonia slash Daniel Molina. Eh, o podría, la pregunta es, o podría ser que en el paquete básico no esté un estándar y pueda incluirse en el paquete básico. El, el, no, no es un paquete básico, sino que eh, ASTM tiene diferentes tipos de contenido. Obviamente, el, el contenido más importante son las más de 12.000 normas que están clasificadas por secciones. Pero también ASTM publica journals, revistas, publica eh, STP, Standard eh, Practices, y otros tipos de contenido. El paquete, entre comillas, básico, incluye las normas y las revistas. Eh, es decir, tendrían acceso, tendrían acceso a toda, todo el rango de normas ASTM. Con el Compass Digital Library, que es el paquete completo, tendrían acceso a todo el universo de normas y el resto del contenido complementario a STM. Eh, lo más probable es que tendrían acceso a toda norma a STM independientemente de qué paquete escojan. Espero haber respondido a la pregunta. Brenda, no sé si quieras eh, complementar mi respuesta. Eh, o tal vez, I don't know, David, if you want to explain uh, to our attendees uh, what kind of subscriptions they can access, I mean, to the uh, complete selection, to the uh, volumes. So maybe um, if you explain more about that, uh, they can answer their questions. A university can select to access all of ASTM standards uh, in English. They can select to add the standards available in Spanish or Portuguese. A university can select to access also the ASTM digital library that Gabriel was referencing, where the ASTM technical committees store all of these studies, all of the monographs, the data, um, and, and journals and technical papers that are used to write and update the standards. The university can also select to add the content from any of the publishing partners that I presented um, if they have university departments that require access to those standards. Thank you, David. Eh, creo que esa parte eh, responde mucho cómo es que ustedes pueden acceder eh, al contenido de ISTM. Y si no, de todos modos, está también dentro del estándar, del estándar virtual de ASTM, está la parte del chat. Si quieren, también ahí podemos platicar con respecto a las dudas que puedan tener sobre el contenido y sobre las formas de suscripción eh, que tenemos para las, eh, para las universidades, para el mundo académico de América Latina. 
Eh, no sé si tengan alguna otra pregunta o otro comentario. Dorky preguntaba sobre los, el tema de derechos de autor. ASTM crea su propio contenido, es decir, ellos publican sus propias normas y manejan estos, estos otros editores y organizaciones que desarrollan normas eh, como una asociación, pero ellos mantienen el, todo, todo el derecho sobre las normas que esas organizaciones desarrollan, como API, como Ashto, eh, y bueno, los otros editores que ellos, que ellos presentaron, que David presentó. No, ¿de qué son? Um, no sé si tengan más preguntas o comentarios. Creo que es todo, Gabriel. Ok. David, muchas gracias por tu tiempo. Thank you very much. Great presentation. Very, very uh, informative videos. Appreciate for them to be uh, in some in Spanish. Igualmente, muchísimas gracias al grupo de, eh, de invitados. Como saben, estas presentaciones van a estar disponibles. Eh, las grabaciones de estas presentaciones van a estar disponibles. Al igual que, por favor, los invitamos a que visiten el virtual booth de ASTM, donde pueden realizar preguntas vía el chat. David después puede revisar estas preguntas, igual que Brenda. Eh, igual estamos aquí para para servirles en cualquier pregunta que puedan tener. Muchísimas gracias. David, thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you very much for your time. You're very welcome. And um, espero que, que tengan todos una buena mañana y los esperamos para la próxima presentación. Gracias de nuevo. Thank you. Thank you, David.